welcome to my channel my name is patty and today i'm going to be telling you guys five tips on how to keep your hair long and healthy so if that's something you're interested in then just keep on watching so my number one tip for healthy hair is limiting heat so we're all aware how much heat causes damage on our hair it causes it to be dry and brittle obviously those are things we don't want if we want our hair to be nice and healthy i'm not telling you to stop using heat altogether because that's unrealistic obviously you're going to be going out you know some days when we're in a rush and we need to blow dry our hair especially when it's freezing out i know i live in new york and when it's cold i can't be going out in 30 degree weather with my hair sopping wet so I completely understand that you know you want to be blow drying your hair then but if you are going to be blow drying your hair using heat any of that stuff you just want to make sure that you are using a very good heat protectant now i personally use a drugstore heat protectant i've been using the tresemme heat protectant i've been using this for years and i've never had an issue with it it's always worked really well for me i know a lot of people like other heat protectants from like ulta and sephora so i would definitely you know look into the kind of brands that you would want to use on your hair but for me personally the tresemme has worked completely Completely fine I noticed that it doesn't give me any stickiness in my hair or anything like that which I really like limit heat if you are gonna use it just use heat protectant my second tip for maintaining healthy hair is focusing on scalp care so of course our hair grows from our scalp and obviously if you want to have nice healthy hair you want that healthy growth you're gonna want to nourish your scalp now what I personally do is use oils on my scalp once a week I really enjoy using ones that are light like jojoba oil or rosemary oil and a rosemary oil is like the hype right now and i personally really love it the next thing is massaging your scalp now you can do this with like tools there's tons of tools on the market these days of scalp massagers you can really use whichever kind you feel comfortable with or you could just use your hands now when you use your hands you really just want to get in there and hit pressure points really the idea is to get blood flowing to your scalp because blood flow to the scalp is what's going to nourish hair follicles and that in turn is what is going to keep your hair nice and healthy and another thing that kind of goes hand in hand with scalp care is exfoliating your scalp or using like a clarifying shampoo now if you're using like dry shampoo and regular products like hairspray and things that you use in your hair even oils you can get a lot of product buildup and of course when you have product buildup that is going to clog your pores and that's also not ideal so it's very important to use a clarifying shampoo once a week my current favorite clarifying shampoo that i'm using right now is the way detox shampoo i just find it really gives my scalp that extra oomph and it really gets all that product build up off and it feels so clean so light after and I, I really really love it so definitely scalp care make sure you're doing scalp massages exfoliating your scalp and using clarifying shampoos to keep your scalp not clogged keeping your follicles nice and lightweight and airy and yeah so my third tip for healthy hair is using silk pillowcases silk products on your hair you can get these from amazon this is really great because this really helps to reduce the friction on your hair when you're sleeping obviously when we sleep we're moving around tossing around this is also really great for your skin so that's always a plus with the cotton pillowcases your hair rubs a lot creates a lot of friction and that creates damage over time now another thing that goes hand in hand with these silk pillowcases is being gentle on your hair after the shower when it's wet so also using like a microfiber fiber hair towel or using like a t-shirt instead of a regular towel and you never want to rub your hair out of the shower you always want to squeeze with the t-shirt or the microfiber hair towel because if you rub that's creating friction and creating breakage and you will definitely deal with a lot of frizz so i definitely recommend using a microfiber hair towel i love the one from kitsch i hope i say the brand right kitsch that you can find at ulta i really love those ones they're literally so comfortable you know you just put your hair up and you know you do your makeup and stuff Stuff, and it really helps to also absorb like any excess moisture that you have so it helps dry your hair faster too which is a plus so we love that so use silk pillowcases and silk products on your hair including scrunchies and the microfiber hair towel to make sure you're keeping your hair nice and healthy when it's wet when it's dry and while you sleep my fourth tip for healthy hair is to sleep in protective hairstyles now i know this one's kind of tough depending on your hair type and if you have straight hair like i do it can be kind of rough because if you sleep in a certain style then your hair will kind of hold that style the next day so i totally understand dealing with that and it kind of sucks but just do the best you can i always sleep in a braid every night i don't mind the waves that it gives me 
I actually really like it. I think it's nice and pretty and tousled. It kind of looks like beachy waves. So what I do is I put a lightweight oil in my ends. I really like the Kerastase Elixir Old Time Oil. I put that in my ends and then put my hair in a braid and secure it with an elastic at the end or just a regular hair tie and sleep on that on my silk pillowcase. You can also use like a silk scrunchie on the end. The reason I don't is because it slips off my hair in the middle of the night, which is not fun. So I actually just opt for like a regular hair tie because it's it's more grip on my hair but it's really important to sleep in those hairstyles because your hair is all over the place in the morning and you want to be able to keep it contained while you're sleeping because if you keep it contained while you're sleeping when you wake up and go to detangle it you're not going to be absolutely ripping out a million knots you will just be able to take it out of the hairstyle and just detangle it from there and it's much much easier than having a bird's nest when you wake up and yeah so other styles that i suggest is besides the braid is like you can do a loose bun on the top of your head just make sure it's loose and with like a silk scrunchie i don't like to do that because it does give me a little bit of like a scalp ache if you guys know what i'm talking about but that's definitely always an option i know some girls who just don't like doing hairstyles and want to maintain their blowouts and their regular hairstyles they will just take their hair and like twist it above their pillow so if they're laying down they will just kind of twist it and throw it over their pillow if that makes sense and they say that that works i mean i've never tried because i'm like all over the place when i sleep so i don't think that would really work for me but hey anything to maintain that blowout or maintain the hairstyle definitely wear protective hairstyles to sleep they're so important to keep your hair healthy by preventing breakage and damage from mechanical breakage so my fifth and final hair care tip for healthy hair is going longer between hair coloring sessions so as you can see i do bleach my hair but the thing is i only go once a year and i get a balayage now i get a balayage because it always is a very nice blended grow out so this allows me to go much much longer between coloring sessions whereas if you're getting highlights done you have to go every what like six to eight weeks to you know keep up on your roots but with balayage it just grows out very seamlessly and i love the contrast between my natural color and the blonde just go longer between sessions if you can go like every four months once every four months or do it like me if you're gonna bleach your hair, maybe go once a year or twice a year, like once every six months, just so you kind of give your hair that time to heal after you bleach or dye it. All right guys, so this is the end of my video of five healthy hair tips. Now, if you guys want a second part to this video, I absolutely can make one because healthy hair tips are pretty endless in my world. I have so many that I use and I love to share them with you. So if you guys wanna see more of this from me about you know learning to take care of your hair and any more healthy hair care tips just comment down below and i can absolutely make another video for you guys but yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know down in the comments don't forget to follow me on tiktok at patty gaff xoxo and i also have my instagram account as well patty gaff xox and yeah i just love to interact with you guys on there and everything so you guys can go over there and talk to me on there all right love you guys bye